so hello everyone uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, about salmonella and shigella so you have to know that both salmonella and shigella are the gram negative dot they are non lactose fermenter and they are oxidase negative and they can invade the gastrointestinal tract via the m cell of the pear patches so in this video we are going to compare the salmonella and shigella on the various topic you can see in this left hand side uh, we are going to talk about uh, we are going to distinguish or we are going to differentiate why reading the differentiation between the various salmonella and shigella species uh, by the topic reservoir uh, mechanism of spread uh, the hydrogen sulfide production the flagella the virulence factors infectious dose um, we call it id uh, the effect of antibiotics on the fecal excretion, the immune response, GI manifestation, vaccine, and various unique properties of the Salmonella and the Shigella. So uh, we are going to differentiate the Salmonella species into two types: those which, which comes on the category of Salmonella typhi, and those Salmonella which are not Salmonella typhi. That means except Salmonella typhi. And uh, we are going to compare those two Salmonella species between the Shigella. First of all, let us talk about the reservoir and the spread. The Salmonella typhi, uh, the reservoir of the Salmonella typhi is human only, whereas the uh, non Salmonella typhi reservoir are human and animals, and the reservoirs of the Shigella is humans only. Uh, the Salmonella typhi spread, um, it can disseminate hematogenously, um, and the Salmonella species. Exp except salmonella typhi they can also disseminate hematogenously but the shigella species transmit by cell to cell transmitter there is no hematogenous spread now let us talk about the dihydrogen sulfide production flagella and the virulence factor the uh, di the all the salmonella and the shigella species um, doesn't produces the dihydrogen sulfide only the salmonella species produces the dihydrogen sulfide whereas the shigella doesn't produce the dihydrogen sulfide the flagella, um, the salmonella species has the flagella, whereas the shigella species doesn't have the flagella. The virulence factor of the uh, salmonella species are the endotoxin, and the shigella also are the endotoxin. But the salmonella typhi has the VI capsule, whereas the shigella has the cigatoxin, which we also call as the enterotoxin. Now let us talk about the infectious dose. The infectious dose of the salmonella. Uh, species are very high whereas the shigella species is very low that means very small inoculum is required um, the shigella is also acid sp stable that means they are resistant to the gastric acid if you look at the effect of the antibiotics on the fecal excretion the on the salmonella typhi there is prolonged duration of the effect of the antibiotic and also in the salmonella species except the salmonella typhi there is prolonged duration but the shigella in the shigella the antibiotic shortens the duration on the fecal excretion now let us discuss about the immune response and the gi manifestation of the uh, bacteria if you look at the salmonella typhi the primary immune response are the monocytes whereas in the salmonella species except the salmonella typhi polymorphonucleus are in are the disseminated in the blood whereas in the shigella the primary uh, polymorphonuclear infiltration is there the GI manifestation of the salmonella typhi is constipation followed by the diarrhea whereas the salmonella species except salmonella typhi are of diarrhea which is um, probably, probably bloody diarrhea is present whereas the shigella species the GI manifestation is there is crampy abdominal pain uh, followed by the tenismus and the bloody mucosystol uh, we call it as a bacillary dysentery now let us move towards the vaccine and the unique properties of those bacteria uh, only the salmonella typhi uh, has the vaccine it has the oral vaccine which contains the live attenuated salmonella typhi the intermuscular vaccine contains the vi capsular pallor sacri uh, the unique property of the salmonella typhi is that uh, it causes the typhoid fever there is rose spots of the abdomen there is constipation abdominal pain is there fever uh, later on it can progress to gi ulceration and hemorrhage we can treat the uh, typhoid by the uh, saffragin or fluoroquinolones. The carriage stage are treated with gallbladder. Um, I mean, the carriage state is treated with the 
uh, cholecystic protein. That means the carrier has the gallbladder colonization, so the gallbladder should be removed in the carrier state with the Salmonella typhi. If we look at the Salmonella species, except the Salmonella typhi, mainly po poultry, eggs, pets, and turtle are the common sources, and antibiotic are not indicated in the Salmonella typhi, except in uh, accession of the Salmonella typhi. Uh, the gastroenteritis is usually caused by the non typhoidal uh, salmonella. If you look at the sigella, we have to know about the foiaps that means finger, flies, food, and feces. So, in order of the decreasing severity, a lex toxin produced the salmonella, sigella dysentery, sigella flexni, uh, sigella boidi, and the sigella sonia are there. So, invasion of the M cell is the key to pathogenicity, and organism that produce little toxin can cause uh, severe disease in the Sigella uh, species. So we have discussed the various features of the Salmonella typhi, uh, other Salmonella species except uh, Salmonella typhi and Sigella. I hope you understood this uh, explanation on the various topics. Thank you.